Alright, while I'm walking I figured I could film something. It's been a while since I've talked to y'all. And uh, I'm out here north of Decatur in Montague County working on a project for the general land office to describe the land patent. And uh, so I'm out up and down the hills, as you can see, looking for stone mounds, witness trees, whatnots, but climbing up and down these hills is not fun. Anyway, um, so what I've decided to do was to give you the intro to our next one from here, which will go from the, the rocks that I found scattered and look for another stone next to a tree. <clears throat> I find something, but I don't think it fits. But then I find another tree that we that somebody cut down and we cut count the rings to see about the age and see if trees would work in that area. So it's a good lesson on trees, I think. And <clears throat> how to identify them based on the surroundings. So as you watch this one, just note that it's not true in every circumstance, but it is true in my area. So enjoy as we bring you the third episode of surveying a profession. We go up that way in order to get back on line. Uh, 300. 95 supposed to be 440 feet and we're at 250 degrees where we're supposed to be at 270 from the uh, indicator and that tree right there is one I'm going to go for thinking that that's probably the distance and bearing but we'll just kind of go up that look at all three of these trees and it may be even further up further over too okay so uh, off we go and let's uh, see what happens podcast for a documentary that people are going to want to watch it's not going to bore them to tears Survivor man, he didn't have a camera crew. I'm not a survivor man either. Okay. I have to climb that rock shelf and get up to the top. Should be fairly easy. It's the first tree I wanted to go to, and there's no rock mound around it. And most of the witness trees would be marked on the side as if you were. On the rock mound, looking towards a tree, there'd be a definite scarring. It has a little bit of scarring right there. Nothing that indicates it was an X or anything like that. And there's a good tree over there and right there. I'm just glancing down at the base of those. There's no rocks at the base of them. No easier way up either that way. And go up that way where those rocks are coming together. Climb out of that at the time. Here we go. Well, it's a good thing I took y'all out on this one. At least you get to see what we go through. Uh, anything. You might get to see me fall down this uh, rock. <laughs> right crevice. Gotta reach my way up there. Right, so here we go. Okay, steady up here. I wonder if this would pass that X on safety course. 
without a helmet and without a harness. Let me show you where I'm at. Not too high. It is ways up here. That's that other tree I'm gonna look at. Based off of that one rock I found over there that wasn't verified. That's off that bit down right here. Thank you, sir. Now, if that was a tree, these stones are way too big to have been used. That too little. I don't think they've meld together over the last 150 years. Uh, see, it's scarring. There's some scarring right in here, and one right here. Um. Again, let's look at the what the markings would have been mark on the bottom, two marks on top, and an X. Now, everybody does understand that if you mark a tree, most times they were marked chest high, right in here, and uh, they're not going to move up the tree as it grows. Common misconception that a lot of people don't realize that trees go out, not up. Uh, so, let's trim some of this out. We'll just verify that if there were rocks here at one time, maybe under those leaves, if it was one vera, it'd be from probably the center of it, somewhere right in there. It's about hitting a tree. Look 
around some more. Not too overly sold with that witness tree. back over there where there's a road now it's unfortunate it's interesting stones piled up right here and uh, I'm not saying that this tree was the original but there's a dead one out there <coughs> This is this would be typical size stones that were used, and they don't look like they're broken off from each other because they don't match up real well with anything. <clears throat> now, did the tree grow up in the middle of it, and then they got pushed out away from it? And if that was uh, probably not the original tree, it's too small in diameter now, and it's been dead for a while, but not um, 150 plus years. The dead tree there too. So if that did grow up out of the sprigs of the tree, Looking at it from this side, it doesn't look as impressive as it did coming from the other side. <clears throat> that tree right there. You can see the instrument right there. There's that tree. There's the stones down at the base. About one very north east of it. Actually wraps around a little. There's some scarring on the side that should be. <clears throat> It looks like two bars, maybe an X, and another bar, maybe another bar there. And then it could be just some bars or some scarring just naturally. That bark is going to cover quite a bit if that was the tree. Being up on the hill, as rocky as the soil is around it. Uh, it's not going to grow real fast. We got a tree cut down over here. We can look at the rings and kind of do a comparison. What I like to do is get a shot on that and uh, take it back to the office and calculate, see how close we are to fitting some other things. Now, what we're looking for are rings, and we're going to do a comparison to the size of this tree versus the size of that other tree. Now, as you can see, we have two. Uh, primary, I forgot what those were called, but it's where the, the, they sucked up the water. So you had two little branches that came up and they just kind of grew around each other so you can kind of see that right here. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll take this outer one here and just start counting some of the rings. I know we're not going to get all of them counted because, man, when you get out here, they're so small. You can tell that uh, uh, it didn't grow very much each year. Here's a ring, another ring, 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 here, here, here was a probably a really wet year because uh, it's kind of soft and it would have grown real fast. Here it's harder, meaning uh, the years were uh, more dry and it didn't grow as much. So you got rings that are, you know, one, two, three. So again, let's say this one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. See, so yeah, twenty years right here, and that's where it grew the most in that inch and a half, or a little over an inch 
span there. And then when you get out here, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So in that short span of, a, of about three eighths of an inch, uh, half inch, was 20 years. Uh, so uh, overall, from here across here, you know, gra granite, you're doing the concentric rings, but that's the diameter, and that's what we kind of measure. And we wanted to measure to the center of whatever it was. This seems to be the biggest, so it's probably the uh, the center of it at the time down there we don't know where it was at um, but <clears throat> you know it's it's this is well over a hundred years old tree and it's only you know from here across is only uh, 10 inches maybe a 10 inch 12 inch tree and that over there is uh, 24 28 inch post up um, so you know, double double your years. That's maybe a 200 year old tree up here on this hill, and uh, <clears throat> so that would have been around uh, at the time, probably maybe about a six inch tree at the time that they surveyed this. Uh, maybe the only tree in the vicinity, and it was right there by that tree. They set it and marked it and went north from there, uh, coming from the west over there. So anyway, um, I believe that's going to be out here in the field today. I'm going to take uh, you know these two few shots that I got uh, in the approximate vicinity, uh, do some more calculations, bring my calculation search areas uh, down a little bit closer with uh, all the others and see how they all fit together. And uh, then we need to go across the creek over the valley over there to the other side. and. Um, look for some maybe next week and uh, try and wrap this job up so for uh, today's podcast field work uh, that seems to be about it uh, see you next time